Aviation Weather Decision Support provides traffic flow managers with quick and efficient recommendations across the national airspace during high impact weather events. Weather is a significant driver of delay in the system and early planning is required to manage impacted airspace. Traffic management decisions on a large scale and in a complex system such as our national airspace requires a significant amount of coordination between the FAA, airlines, and pilots. Hello everyone, my name is Joe Venuti and I'm an aviation meteorologist with the MIT Lincoln Laboratory Air Traffic Control Systems Group. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to be giving you a tour of our Aviation Weather Decision Support Laboratory. Our history with the group dates back with the FAA to the 1970s with some of the first developments of the aircraft surveillance beacons and terminal Doppler weather radars. The Corridor Integrated Weather System, or CWIS, was one of our first decision support tools. It provides a zero to two hour forecast of thunderstorm intensity and echotop heights. CWIS allows air traffic control and airlines the ability to see planned routes and whether the thunderstorms are going to affect those routes that they're trying to plan out for the entire day. CWIS itself started in a very small region between New York and Chicago. In the past was one of the busiest and still remains one of the busiest airspaces across the nation. CWIS itself, though, became so useful to the FAA and the airlines that they quickly expanded it from that small corridor across the entire U.S. CWIS went from prototype to fully operational within the FAA in 2011 and is now used at most major air traffic control facilities across the country. The Route Availability Planning Tool, or RAPT, builds upon the CWIS platform, so it's very familiar to the users. CWIS itself determines those echotop heights and intensities but when we were in the field during CWIS, we observed air traffic controllers and managers trying to mentally take two stovepipe systems, CWIS on one screen and air traffic on another, and determine where that weather was going to intersect the departing traffic out of New York. RAPT takes those departure routes, or those highways, out of New York and allows the weather to be overlaid with the air traffic to determine what are the best routes. RAPT utilizes a short 30-minute color-coded timeline to allow those air traffic controllers to quickly determine the safest routes out of the New York airspace. The Consolidated Storm Prediction for Aviation, or COSPA, builds upon those previous two platforms. CWIS had provided the zero to two hour forecast into the future. Using numerical weather prediction models, COSPA now takes that out to 12 hours. The Traffic Flow Impact Tool, or TFI, allows air traffic controllers to translate weather into air traffic control throughput using the same visual cues that RAPT did from that previous platform. The Offshore Precipitation Capability, or OPC, utilizes machine learning, global satellite, global lightning, and numerical weather prediction models for air traffic management. This combined technology allows air traffic controllers to create a radar-like product out into airspace where conventional weather radar does not reach. Originally created for the Miami Oceanic Airspace, this tool provides situational awareness for air traffic controllers out into airspace that is well beyond that radar. The Next Gen Weather Processor and Aviation Weather Display takes all of the systems highlighted here previously and combines them into one system. Along with FAA products and National Weather Service forecasts, it also takes those systems, combining the latest in display technology and forecasting with numerical weather models, and puts them into one system, giving basically all of those tools right to the users at their fingertips. In the future, we look forward to delivering the same high-impact decision support technologies to the FAA and other stakeholders for safe and efficient travel in the future.